Louise here, and uh, I quilt too. <laughs> Today's Sunday, and I thought I'd come on here and do a little bit of a live chat, and um, just see who wants to sew with me today. So grab your water and a little snack, and grab a jelly roll, because I'm going to sew up this jelly roll today. And um, trying to see, I know I'm missing something here. Let's um, view live chat. I think that was show live chat. Okay, that should be okay. Alrighty, looks like might have two people. Um, welcome if you're just joining i thought i'd come on and chat today and um just trying to get things set up so give me just a bit just a minute and so um let's see why my if you're there Say something to me in the chat because it doesn't look like my chat is working. Let me go on live on my other device. As soon as it gets done doing all of its updating here. Hope everybody is doing well today. I have three people. Now, how come it's the chat isn't coming up? That's what I want to know. I know I have this problem every time. <laughs> Let's try this. Show chat view. There we go. Oh, there we go. I got it. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Joe. Hi, Gina. All right. We got it. How are you guys today? Um, you guys feel like sewing? Yes. Love, hate, technology. I have a love, hate relationship with technology. That is for sure. Um, how, if you would, wouldn't mind letting me know how the video quality is and if you can hear me okay. Um, hi, Pat. Trying, still trying to get my other device up. Addicted to sewing. Yes. That is for sure. All right. I think I found it. Yes, I feel like sewing, watching you instead. And you can hear me fine. Okay, thanks, Joe. Video and sound is good. Awesome. All right. I got you up on here so I don't have to keep going like this to read the comments. <laughs> Get all cross-eyed. Okay. Well, we have four people. So I'll just visit for a few more minutes before I tell you what I'm going to do. If you want to sew with me, go grab a jelly roll. Or maybe you're tired of jelly rolls. So. <laughs> Everybody uh, seems to be doing jelly rolls. That's what gave me a, the bug. So I feel like sewing a jelly roll. Need to start sewing my stash. Right? Oh, hi, Vivian. Okay. And uh, Gina is addicted to FPP lately. 
and she just did the jelly roll race. Well, I'm not racing. <laughs> I'm going to do my jelly roll a little different. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my jelly roll in half, you know. So this je uh, jelly roll is called Blue Sky from Etta Sitar of Laundry Basket Quilts. Um, there happens to be 40 pieces in this, and so when I cut each one, I'll have um, 80. And then I'm going to um, take little two and a half inch background fabrics. I've already cut those, two and a half inch squares. And I'm going to sew a two and a half inch square on the end of each one, or I'm going to, I'm going to mix it. I got two and a half inch and three and a half inch. So I'm going to kind of do half and half or, you know, whatever I grab on the end of each one before I sew them all together. So um, that will make. That will give me a little more background fabric in the um, in the quilt, which I think I will like that. And it seems like we always do the background fabric piece if we're going to add it at an angle. And I just want it to all be square. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. And I've had this jelly roll for, oh boy. I want to say probably at least four years, maybe even five. I'm not sure when this line came out. Doesn't really say on there. Um, but it is super pretty, super pretty. And I think it will go well in my camper. And so I just want a nice, cozy quilt in the camper that I can put on my lap or, you know, when I'm cross-stitching or sewing. I have to remember what side the camera is on. So here's all the lovely pieces. Really pretty fabric. And there's a lot of contrast in this, for sure. A lot of light ones. But I think my background that I picked is kind of an off-white. And it has um, kind of a cream, you know, more kind of on the tan side. Um, but I think it'll go well with the fabric. Because there's a lot of tan in this fabric. Okay. So that's my background that I'm going to use. And then I'm also use it like um, do a border with this stuff too. And I wanted it, I didn't want it like real white since it will be out in the camper. You know, could get dirty. <laughs> There are quite a few light colors in this. Um, and I probably will still go ahead and use them. Like here's one that's really white. But it still goes. I think it still goes okay. I think it'll still be all right. What do you guys think? Let's see. Hi, Heather. Um, watching from Pine Gap. Joint Defense Base Research Facility. Thank you. Huh. Okay. What's your name? <laughs> Hi, June. 
Yes. Going to look good. Okay, thank you. All right, so I'm going to check my machine. I should have done this before I got online, but I want to make sure I have enough bobbin. Always got to do that, right? So, um, scientists love to sew as well. Yes, I know. And um, I don't remember her name, but she was up in space on the, and she um, took her sewing. Do you remember her name? <laughs> That's terrible. I don't even know her name. Oh, it's a good thing I checked my bobbin. Because it's just about out. Well, I hope that you enjoy our channel and welcome. Lots of different people love to sew or crafts. And not just women either, men too. We have a lot of friends on here that are men who sew. Alrighty. All right, let's see who we have here. Um, what are you guys doing today? All right. I'll just set that down. <laughs> and I'm going to push this back just a little bit. Might get a little shaky. So what I'm going to do first is cut off those pieces. Put you back there just a little bit. How's that? Can you still hear me okay? You should because I have my microphones on. Oh, uh, Heather says that they finished the quilt or the kitchen today was grout day. Oh, that's a lot of fun. June is quilting. Going to quilt a pineapple table runner. Oh, I can't wait to see that. Um, Heather, yeah, I saw your kitchen on um, one of the Facebook groups. That looks beautiful. Lucky girl. I bet it's nice to get that back. Oh, at least it's only one wall to grout. Yeah, thank goodness, huh? All right, I'm going to set that down. All right, so let's see what I have for uh, bobbins. Uh, let's see, what did... Yes, that's what I said earlier, Brenda, that it's... Um, I don't know how to pronounce that name. Uh, um, Adeta Sitar Blue Sky. Yep. Do you know what year that came out? <clears throat> um, I was saying that or I was going to say, I think it's been four, four or five years since I bought this jelly roll. And I got it at Missouri Star Quilt Company when they used to do those um, $20 for a jelly roll or a layer cake. You don't get that hardly anymore at all. But I think, I'm pretty sure that's what I paid for this was $20. So might as well get it used up. All right, 
Let's do some bobbins. See if I have any done up over here. No, they're both empty. <laughs> All right. I'll do some bobbins. And, um, you know, um, I think most of you guys are subscribed to um, T Quilts. She makes it look so easy. <laughs> Tiffany makes it look easy too to do a live. It's not that easy. All right, I got my water. And I also have popcorn. I have a dish towel to clean my hands. <laughs> so go grab your popcorn or a snack. Probably going to be loud. I might not want to do that. <laughs> okay. I need a good place to put this phone. This phone. Hi, Becca. Hi, hi, hi. I'm sorry I missed your live this morning. I was out walking the dogs with the hubby. And I came back and you'd been on. And I missed it. Darn it. All right. The door is open. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, the guy with the tractor is going by. So, I'm going to do up a couple of bobbins. I have a nice uh, tan thread on here that's Aurifil. I think I got this thread from uh, Stephanie's Stitches box, Autumn box, which is awesome. I started that project too. I need to work on that. All right. Let me know if this is uh, too loud. Did you find um, Becca uh, online church this morning? Let that go. In and out like a ninja, huh? <laughs> That's what Becca says. And everybody's saying hi to Becca. Sure glad you could join us, Becca. Oh, you went in person? Oh, okay. Well, I bet that was nice. Was the sewing machine too loud? I'm trying not to run it too fast. You know, I should probably put a new needle in there, too. It's probably been a while. Want to do another um, jelly roll, Becca? Oh, ooh, Becca's gonna work on the pineapple blocks. I should do that. You know, I have those pineapple papers. Um, oh, you knew it. Brenda said she knew it was um, sitar fabric. I love it too. It's beautiful. <laughs> Becca says, sure. I don't have one, but sure. <laughs> I won't know the difference. But you already said you're going to work on pineapple blocks. So. Not. Okay, Heather says, no, not loud at all. Okay, great. 
And Vivian also. Great. Hi, Mary Jane. We're just going to visit and do some sewing. And I didn't uh, do up any bobbins before I came online. So I'm doing that now. I'm going to do two because I am doing a jelly roll. But I'm not racing. <laughs> I'm just taking my sweet time. And I'm going to do it a little bit different. Adding some different kind of background fabric to it. And I'll show you as I go. Oh, get back on there. And what are you working on today, Mary Jane? Two how to do it. Heather is so over pizza. I bet. I bet you had to have a lot of pizza with your kitchen all messed up like that. We did our uh, redid our kitchen one time over in Oregon, but luckily I had a little motorhome out back, so I just used the kitchen and the motorhome until winter, and then, which I didn't get to use it outside very long, but um, it was one of those older motorhomes, so I just took it... Um, my husband took the stove out of it, just a little stove, you know, with the oven. <laughs> and we set it up in the house until our kitchen was done. It was kind of like cooking out. Mary Jane is working on a jigsaw puzzle. Ooh, I love jigsaw puzzles. I usually do those in the winter time. things I have sewn on this one needle. I'm just going to go ahead and take this little bit out. I'll save it for later. <coughs> I hate to run out so soon. Feels all right. Okay. I haven't sewn in a couple of weeks, so my husband and I went camping the first time in a long time. Some of you may know we um, bought a used fifth wheel, and so we took that out. It was our first trip out with it. We had a lot of fun. We did have some problems, so it was. I'm glad that we took it out for a test drive, basically. <laughs> um, the... Uh, plug in from the for the tail lights that come off of the truck and go into the trailer. That thing was kind of wiggly, wasn't working quite right. So he had to do some tape duck uh, duct tape stuff with it to 
get it to stay in there. And then we were still having problems. Every time we'd try to slow down, it would start jumping like that. So um, we didn't go where we originally wanted to go camping. We just went out to this little lake that's out by Grangeville, Idaho. It's called um, Tolo, T-O-L-O -O Lake. It's by Grange, uh, Grangeville, Idaho. And I don't know a lot about it, but there's a little bit of history on it. Um, and you guys go look it up. It's pretty interesting. Um, it used to just be a marsh, a big marsh. It's like, I think they said 36 acres uh, of water. Um, somehow, and I don't know how, they, oh, they were digging out the marsh. Somebody was, I'm not sure who, probably a farmer. <laughs> um, to make it easier for people to, to fish. Um, like take your little boat out there or whatever. And when they were digging, doing this digging, they found a mammoth. And um, so then, you know, that pretty much was an all stop. And so they brought out archeologists and um, they dug up this mammoth. And as a matter of fact, the mammoth is displayed in Grangeville, I believe at the, um, they have a Chamber of Commerce building, and um, I think I'm going to stop in there next week and look at it. I'll take some pictures and then post it. Anyway, they found a lot of bones. That, um, what they figured was because this area was so marshy, swampy, that animals would come down to get a drink, and they'd get stuck in the muck and couldn't get out. And um, instead of continuing to dig up this marsh and get the rest of the animals or whatever was trapped in there. They just buried it back and um, they still fixed it so that it was more like a lake. And um, it has like an artesian spring, so it fills itself. It The water was pretty low and... Um, so the fishing really sucked, but we did get nibbles and we did see some people um, catching some fish. They were doing it right off the dock. So I think the fish were all hanging out under the dock. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Brenda. She said that um, the sky blue, which is the fabric that I'm using and this jelly, uh, jelly roll came out. Um, and 2017, 2018, that'd be about, sounds about right. Becca says, wow, or whoa, she must have said that about the story. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty interesting. Um, let me go back and read some comments. Okay, Heather said at, um, at least a week's worth, most of it left over, but got to eat delicious dinners three evenings. All right, brought back memories of before the kids. <laughs> Hi, Podak. Pretty's quilting. Hello, and I'm working on a pot roast right now. Ooh, that sounds good. Brenda doesn't think it's too loud. Great. <laughs> um, Pat has a... Is it airliner trailer? It folds flat and opens up into a triangle. Oh. Huh. 
Huh, I'm going to have to look that up. Hi, Angela. Yeah, I just kind of come on. I haven't been on for a while on Sunday, so I thought I'd had some time. I was back from camping. Okay, so to finish that story. Okay, so here's what the rest of the story of that. Um, so we knew we were still having problems with electrical because, okay, the slide would not go out and nothing, no lights would come on or nothing. So we're like, what the heck? And we knew it was working because everything worked fine at home. So I figured something had jiggled loose, right? Well, um, my husband had taken the, uh, electric meter out of the, or tester, out of the motorhome, or the fifth wheel, and so we unhooked the truck and um, went into town and bought a new one and um, bought, a, you know, a few other things to test what was going on, and so when we got back, um, it has, like, two batteries, and and that's what usually um, the power from the pickup truck will charge those batteries. It has a converter in the trailer, and so it um, converts that into 12 volt also. Okay, so we're like doing it. The, the battery's tested, fully charged. Um, we just started looking around at wires, and my husband was wiggling the wires that are attached to the battery and um, the black ground wire came out <laughs> and I said well I think that's the problem uh, whoever put those in um, didn't tighten it tighten the wire down to the wire nut correctly and so it was a real easy fix he he got that fixed, put it back together, and everything worked fine. Um, we were, you know, able to get our lights. Uh, the slide went out and, you know, all that stuff. So, because <laughs> I thought we were going to have to go home. <laughs> so, anyway, all right. So, we stayed there. Yeah, so look that lake up, T-O-L-O -O Lake in Grangeville, Idaho, and um, you'll learn about the mammoth and stuff that they found in there and what they did. Pretty interesting. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the salvages off of this and I'll move over here, and then I'm going to arrange my colors. So, I'll bring you back over. And I'll also arrange the colors how I would like them. But first, I'll just cut these salvages off. And I usually do like three at a time at least. My blade isn't too bad, but. In fact, you know, I need to go shake these out for a second, you guys. I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to shake it outside. Oh, boy. You had to see how much uh, fabric dust came off of that. <laughs> That's the best way to do it. Just take it outside and dust it off. Kind of made a mess of them, but that's all right. Okay, so then we decided it was so peaceful out there on the lake. And if you're on my Facebook page, um, I think I put it on my Facebook page. I know I put it on Tiffany's of some photos of, of it while I was, while we were out there. It's beautiful, and it was so quiet, and um, 
there were a lot of ducks and geese. And then I'm just going to cut the ends off, the folded ends. I'm just going to go ahead and cut those off. And then I'm going to separate these by light, medium, and dark. Um, so I got some beautiful pictures. I still, I'm still going to post some more on the Facebook. Um, at some of my videos, um, in the description have a link to the Facebook group. Um, love to have you. Welcome to join. And after this video is done and posted, I'll go in and change the description um, so that it, I'll add the Facebook group in there. But basically it is um, I Quilt to with Teresa Louise. Cut those off. Um, so hopefully when I go to town next Wednesday... I'll go to that um, where they have the mammoth and take some pictures and I'll put it on Facebook for you guys. Okay. Yeah, this is really pretty fabric. I like it. Those are all medium. Here's this one. I guess I could be showing you, huh? But look at this one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I really like that one. Hmm. I think that's a light. This is a medium. Hi, Tiffany. How's it going? Oh, I'm sorry. Tiffany was trying to take a nap, but she wasn't very successful. Yeah, I decided not to take a nap. <laughs> I thought I'd just go live. I haven't done a video in a long time. All right, let's see. Uh, Okay, Brenda says, I'm waiting on a box of frozen meat from FedEx. They have missed my deliveries up for months. Afraid drivers are stealing it. I'm so for Oh, oh. I'm sure that you have called FedEx. But, oh. you know, my husband and I, we won't even order it anymore if the company is going to use FedEx. Because it's a nightmare. Absolutely a nightmare. Trying to get your stuff. <laughs> That's funny, Becca. Becca says, anybody else want to sing Shake It Off by Taylor Swift? <laughs> you go ahead, Becca. I don't know that one. No? Just me? Okay. That's what Becca says. Um, Pat uh, says, I always run a lint, a lint roller over both sides of the jewelry reel before I open it. Oh, I should have done that, huh? Why didn't you stop me? You were here early. <laughs> you could have stopped me from opening that. Oh, well. That's all right. I don't have a lint roller. I have a lint brush. Great idea. Or um, could use a vacuum cleaner too. But I figured the door was open. I'll just go shake them. So how you doing, Tiffany? You feeling any better? June said that she will sing with Becca. There you go, Becca. 
Brenda has had a bad month. Car is going to the shop Wednesday. I don't have Wi-Fi or cable TV. I changed service and they did not have connections turned on. So must wait until Wednesday for that also. Grr. That's not a good week. We're going in with a vehicle Wednesday. Because the other thing we found out um, was... Uh, my brother, it's a Dodge diesel, could really use an alignment. And so I called and made an appointment with it. So we'll take it in on Wednesday. Um, Brenda was doing some furniture moving today and was gone from Margaret's before she could say hi. I thought I said hi to you on Margaret's, didn't I? They say it was delivered. Makes me look like a thief. Well, who signed for it? I guess. That happened to us um, in the winter time, they don't like coming up our road because they're scared of the snow. So, um, the driver, her mom lives here in town, so she just left it at her mom's and, um, didn't call us nothing. And so I, I called around, I mean, like a good week had gone by and they kept saying it showed that it was signed for and it was delivered. And I'm like, who, who signed for it? And um, as soon as they told me that, then I could look. I looked her up in the phone book. Well, that, and I called the post office and I said, who is so-and-so? <laughs> because they have my FedEx package. And they're like, oh, well, she lives right across the street. <laughs> and that's when I found out that was her mom, <laughs> you know, the FedEx driver's mom. So I think she had it for at least three weeks and nobody tried to get a hold of us or anything. I was not happy. They could have even like posted a note at the post office out on the bulletin board that said, Hey, Teresa and Brandon, uh, your package is over at Barb's house or whatever, you know. Um, no, she's not feeling much, Tiffany's not feeling much better, but she'll be going live later. Um, oh, she's not doing much because she hasn't been in there for a few days and it's a mess. Mine was too. Oh, <laughs> okay, Brenda. Gotcha. Okay. I think I'm caught up. Yeah, three weeks. No signatures needed. I can't remember what was in the package. It was something my husband ordered. Um... And I want to say that the company finally resent it. Um, and so when it came the second time, we just refused it and sent it back because we had got had gotten it already. And we called them and told them that we had gotten it. So we were just going to refuse the package and send it back. But, like, um, sometimes we order from Chewy, and for some reason, when it's ground like that, it ends up in this place called Troutdale, and, um, and there it sits, and sits until some driver's coming out this way. You know, that's the thing about 
living in this rural area is it's hard to get people to work, <clears throat> I guess. And we just got one guy trained. He was doing really good. He knew where we lived. We started getting our packages and um, didn't have any problems. And then he quit. And then they were training this other guy. And we have our driveway well marked. Um, so it shouldn't be hard to find us. But And we live, I shouldn't say this, but we live on a ro road called School Drive. And the school is right at the bottom of the road. Hello? <laughs> I mean... Couldn't you figure that out? Right? And the school is right in town. It's not that if you're driving around town, surely you're going to see the school. Or you could stop at the store and say, hey, where's the school? And they'd go, it's right down the road. I mean... understand sometimes because it they don't have the roads marked very well around here it's hard to find places but some places are not that hard to find and sometimes he would bring us other people's packages or he'd come up here and ask me I'm like, you'd be better off asking the people at the post office or the store. Um, pretty fabric, you guys. I should have had this all cut up. I'd be sewing already. Okay, so then after, after Tolo Lake, I wasn't done camping. I wanted to stay out for a while at least till Saturday. Um, so we decided to just camp at some of the spots on the way home because uh, the main road coming to Elk City is along the river, Red River, it's called. And I know there's a lot of camping spots and I wanted to try some trout fishing. So we um, stayed along the river. Well, it was super noisy because the campground isn't that far from the road. And things have really been booming in this little town, I'll tell you. They opened a mining company, mining for gold. And um, that was... That was about three years ago, and they're still hard at it. And so, you know, they employ quite a few people, and it really started things booming around this little town. And so, there were big tracks, oh, and, and they started logging again because we had a Some sort of bug killed a bunch of the trees, and so the loggers had been coming in and cleaning them out, which is good. And um, so, anyway, there were big trucks going by all constantly. Logging trucks, dump trucks, big equipment trucks. <laughs> It was a beautiful spot. I did take some pictures. I'll put those on Facebook too. But it was just a little too noisy. Uh, it calmed down at night time. It wasn't too bad. I mean, we slept okay. but And um, I got two bites, but I wasn't able to land them. My husband caught a trout. He was only a nice-sized trout too. So we did have shared the trout for dinner so that was nice 
I love to fish. Even if I don't catch anything, I love it. So that was our trip. We had a lot of fun. The dogs had a blast. Oh, uh, we took the cat, our cat Frank. You know, he's an old guy. And we were not sure how long we were going to be gone, and we didn't want to leave him at home. And he's been on trips with us before, but not camping. And um, he's like, you know, 15, 16 years old. Um, and he did great. He did it, you know. He did better by the lake. Um, but the river was kind of noisy, and I think that kind of scared him. He he wasn't too excited about going out of the camper. At the lake, he did. He went for a walk, and, you know, he's, he's fine. He stays right with you, you know. But at the lake, he kept trying to run into the bushes and hide which is closer to the road. We didn't want that. So we pretty much kept him in the camper. Um, but he was pretty happy to get home. <laughs> Cats are funny, you know. Um, he did not, when we first got the camper and I let him go in there, he wasn't crazy about it. It was like, it wasn't his, you know. So he, as soon as we, we got all our stuff in there, it plus the dog beds, all the things that he's used to smelling. Then it was like he was home, you know, it was great. He, he just went and laid on the bed and um, he rode in the truck on the way there. And um, he did pretty good, except for he doesn't like the shadows of the trees on the road. That really bothers him. And um, so when we got to Grangeville, I said, I, I'm going to try letting him just stay in the camper, see how he does. And he liked it a lot better because he just got up on the bed and that's where he stayed and rode in the camper. If he would have been a young guy, that probably wouldn't have worked, but okay, I'm doing pretty good here. How are we doing? Oh, it's almost 3.30. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourself, getting some sewing done or cooking or what have you. All right, let's see where we are. June got her sewing room cleaned and I don't want to make a mess, but need to get things done. <laughs> That's right. Oh, looks like we had a troll. Thank you, Becca. Harvey Price? Huh. I wonder what he said. <laughs> I don't know who that is, so. Hi, Ellen. She just got home from church. Yeah, Heather says troll alert. Becca got it. Great. Thank you, Becca, again. That's right. Heather says buzz off, Harvey. I won't ask you what he said. Probably wasn't nice. It's okay, Angela. Oh, he keeps coming back? What the heck? Maybe I should... Um, how does he keep coming back? Good grief. Now she timed him out. Doesn't have anything better to do than troll, that's for sure. Huh, he keeps being able to come back. That's weird. Oh, man. Looks like we're getting a bunch of them. Oh, that is really rude. Go away, Harvey. We don't like you unless you quilt. <laughs> that's right. 
Hi, Mary. That's okay. You're not late. We're just sewing and, well, trying to get rid of this troll. Um, yeah, what the heck? Looks like they found me, huh? Hi, Patricia. He was being a jerk. Yeah. Kathy looks forward to sewing again. It's been way too long. Have you started? Yeah, it keeps coming back under a different name. Hi, Katrina. Yeah, he had different names. Well, hopefully he's done now. What am I doing? I'm doing a jelly roll quilt. Because <laughs> everybody else was doing one, and I thought, that looks like fun. But I didn't um, have it ready, so I'm, I'm not doing a race. This is slow. Oh, Kathy says, no, she's not getting to sew yet. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Well, just take your time. Don't overdo it. I'm so glad you finally got to go home. That's awesome. I was a long time in the hospital or rehab. Or ther um, physical therapy. Right? Long time. So, yeah. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm cutting the uh, Jelly Roll strips in half. And then I'm going to use a um, background fabric two and a half inch squares and uh, two and a half by three inch, three and a half inch squares. I'm going to kind of, you know, do a, two, a few two and a half and a few three and a half, just kind of whatever. <laughs> I wanted, um, more contrast in the quilt. That's why I'm cutting the strips in half. So I'm just cutting the folded end off and then I'm cutting the salvages off. And these are not all the same length. You would think that they would be, seeing how they are all the same uh, they're the same fabric line. So that's kind of strange. Okay, so um, we had ordered some more trees and um, or a tree we ordered a crab apple. It's called Prairie Fire. So it, it gets really purple in the um, summer. The leaves do. And then they start turning, you know, reddish, yellow, green in the fall. Full of beautiful color. And of course, they get crab apples on them. And which I have a big crab apple tree out front. I'll have to take a picture of it and post it. It's humongous and it's so beautiful when it goes into bloom. And the bees love it, um, especially the bumblebees. <laughs> and the birds love it too. The hummingbirds, I get hummingbirds that nest in it every year. Um, and this year, the crab, I got quite a few crab apples on it, 
and they look great. Um, in the past years, there wasn't too many, and they didn't look very very good at all. But this year, they look really good. So I am going to make some jelly, I think, out of them. Um, it sounds really good. Yes, doing it Teresa style. That's right. Then if I have some, I think I'm going to put flannel on the back. So it'll be nice and warm in the camper. Yeah, I think these colors are going to look really good in the camper. So anyway, before we came home, we're still, you know, dragging the fifth well camper. We stopped by the nursery and picked up the tree. And so then we just put the tree inside the camper and uh, blocked it all up, you know, so it, it did fine. And that fifth wheel has kind of a um, vaulted ceiling in it. So there was plenty of room for the tree. So that was nice. And then, of course, we had to get it planted right away. And we had to um, put a little fence, put a fence around it, keep the elk from chewing all the leaves. So that's all done. And then we decided to go ahead and order another one because we really liked it. And there, it's nice big. It's probably, oh, 15 foot between 12 and 15 somewhere tree and um, they're supposed to be drought resistant so that's good and they're supposed to be pretty hardy anyway look it up it's called prairie fire um, crab apple tree super pretty so we got one more coming and we'll go pick that up on Wednesday and I'm, we're going to plant it at the corner of the house. So I think we have enough leafy trees planted now and hopefully they grow fast so we can get the house shaded a little bit more in the summertime. We should have done that when we first bought this place but honestly didn't think that the summers here were that hot. But this summer, oof, it was bad. And we're in a drought. Just talking to the neighbor um, today, and he has horses and stuff. And he said that the place where he gets his hay, they only got um, like the, a third of the amount of hay they normally do because it was so dry here. So they only got one cutting, basically. Um, and that cutting wasn't very good. So he's had to go out and try to find more hay, you know. So I don't know what the poor elk are gonna do this winter because they have become dependent on people in the winter time to feed them. So, might end up being a pretty sad winter for them. I wish they would have never done that, but the elk got trapped in here one winter, like 30 years, 30, 40 years ago. And um, they got trapped in here by the snow and couldn't get out. And so the farmers fed them. Well,. Um, the elk thought, well, that's not too, that's not that bad then if we're going to get fed. So they just stayed. So now, now they stay and hope that some, and they have like a, oh, a trail they go around to different people's places, um, looking for food. And I want to say there's probably... Anywhere from 30 to 50 of them, thereabouts. 
Um, they do get harvested during elk season. So that's probably a good thing to keep that herd down. There's other herds that come in, but they leave. So look at this one's really pretty. Love that one. All right. Whoops. Let's see what y'all saying. Hi, Nancy. Um, oh, it looks like, like he's gone now, the troll. That's good. Hi, Joe Eddie. Well, welcome. I'm gl glad you're here. We're just quilters, sewers, crafters, cross-stitchers, knitters, crocheters. Oh my goodness, Kathy. Kathy was gone four and a half months. I thought it was something like that. Brenda says, I'm enjoying your live. Only thing I have is my phone hotspot, but so bad buffering. I missed how you was sewing strips. Oh, well, I'll, I'll say it again. That's right. Doing it the Teresa style. Oh, Becca's having a hard time with her internet. Hopefully you won't have much longer to deal with that. Um, I don't know if Becca was able to read Patricia's message. Um, which I would send uh, Stephanie an email through her um, Etsy shop. She's usually pretty good getting right back to you. Good night, Ellen. I probably already missed you, but thanks for stopping in. Okay, thank you, Becca. Um, Becca's taking care of, or trying to help Patricia out with her problem, her fabric problem. Well, that's good. Oh, thank you, Kathy. Yes, thumbs up. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, would you please subscribe? And um, be sure and ring that little bell so you know when I post a video, which I should start getting back into posting some videos, so... I need to do a um, cross-stitch update and quilting update. Okay, June. Bye. Thanks for stopping in. Oh, okay. Angela says she thinks Stephanie said she was going to be out of town this weekend. Well, that could be why. Yes, enjoy your dinner with your sister. That's okay, Tiffany. I'm glad you're still listening. Okay, so Patricia, um, so Becca said just forward that email to her 
and she will make sure that um, it gets right in front of Stephanie's sweet little nose. <laughs> oh my gosh. Katrina says, I finally finished my 150 Christmas stockings. Now putting all the Christmas fabric away. Why did you do 150 Christmas stockings? <laughs> Are you selling them? Okay, I think I'm all cut up. So, um, if you're just joining, what I'm doing is sewing a jelly roll. But, I am cutting each strip in half. I'm cutting off the fold edge, and I'm cutting off the salvage edge. So they're only going to be that long. Because I'm going to take two and a half inch background fabric and sew them on to the end of each one. Either two and a half inch square, or I'm going to use a two and a half by three and a half. So I'll have some different, uh, you know, lengths in there. So I just wanted it to look different. I wanted a little more background fabric in there. And um, I didn't want to do it how they do, uh, usually at an angle. I just want to do it square. And um, so that's, and I'm definitely not doing a race. <laughs> because I'm still cutting the fabric. But I have been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> so there is that. So um, what I might do is finish cutting this up, maybe get started, and then I'll put it away, and maybe I'll come back on again tomorrow for like an hour or something and so with you guys um, I can do Monday or Tuesday but not Wednesday I enjoy being up here on Sunday I'm just kind of puttering around um, ooh I really like this one that really pretty I like this one too it has a um, kind of the same I learned that if I hold the object there for a few minutes and real steady that you can see it better especially in the replay all right I almost have them all cut up. Yeah, this will look really pretty. This is a beautiful dark blue. Look at that one. Um, I didn't take any sewing with me. Oh, this one's a little bit lighter. I'll hold them both up there. That's pretty too. Um, yeah, I didn't take any sewing with me at all camping. I did take some cross stitch, but I only got it out one night. Brandon was watching some cowboy movie <laughs> that I didn't, that I wasn't really interested in. So I got the cross stitch out, um, and did a little bit of that. Oh, and I few of the nights we got out Scrabble and played that. That was fun. I won one game one night and then he won the next game and uh, yeah it was a lot of fun. I have not played Scrabble since last winter so that's kind of something we do in the winter time. Get a game out, play usually scrabble.
So that was fun. I ha I made some really good words. <laughs> and it's funny, you know, I am a ter terrible speller. But for some reason, I do pretty good at Scrabble. Because most of the time I'm not, you know, concerned about making um, strange words, hard words, or that, you know, you just, I want them long, but it can be any word like where, or, you know. but I had some good words. I even used um, the one, one I, that I remember that was really good was detour. Yeah, can you believe it? Brandon was shocked. <laughs> Anyway, it was a lot of fun. Hey, guess what? I got all those cut. Yay. About time, huh? All right, I'm going to bring them over here a little closer to me. Let's see what time it is. Almost 4 o'clock. Um, let's see. Tiffany, your time hasn't changed yet. You're still on at 5 o'clock, right? Hi, Jim. Jim's watching on the Ruko, watching on TV. Kathy says she's doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. How are you today? She's talking to Angela. Um, I recent, Angela says she recently purchased a customized jelly roll from So Yeah. No pinked edges. Looking forward to using it. Oh, I don't mind the pinked edges pinked edges, but um, I actually kind of like them because they don't they don't fall apart, you know. When it's just straight cut, they tend to, you know, fall apart, get all thready. Nancy likes my idea for the jelly roll. Brenda said she did enjoy seeing the elk herd in my yard. That was so cool. I know. That was cool. And those bulls, their horns are starting to grow. Um, hopefully they make it. <laughs> I want to see how big their horns get. Oh, Katrina says, no, Sherry is in the hospital. I thought Sherry was coming home. And for the past 20 plus years, she has made over 75,000 Christmas stockings for the children of our lost heroes, TBC. That is so sweet. Angela's trying to do a little bit of everything today, but did take a short nap. Got a flu shot and Tdap vaccine yesterday. What's a Tdap vaccine yesterday and routine blood work? Um... Nancy says she bought one of those um, custom jelly rolls, too. Oh, no. Becca, I'm sorry. Her migraine is coming back. I need to rest my eyes. Good night, guy. Good night, Becca. I'm sorry. I hope you feel better. Brenda got the uh, jelly roll also from So Yeah. Part two, Katrina says. She got an um, email request from some of the 13 service members recently killed. Oh, boy, yes. So uh, Katrina made extras. 
So no, we don't sell them. You can see them on Tiffany's Quilting Life Facebook. Okay. Thank you. Angela wishes she had bought the other jelly roll, too. Did you like the jelly roll? You know, did you open it and look at all the colors? Did they do a good job mixing the colors together? Yeah, I know Arizona time don't change. But sometimes Tiffany, you know, might come on earlier or later. Okay, Tiffany. Thank you. Yeah, I wish we didn't do the time change either. Oh, tetanus uh, and the hooping cough. I need to get those too. I really need to get the tetanus shot, especially if we're going to keep going camping and stuff. Because um, I think my last shot was in 2007. Oh, I see. Um, whooping cough. So Angela is expecting her first great grandchild in January. That's why she went ahead and got the the shot vaccine. Um, Okay, so I think I'm, oh, it's almost four o'clock. Okay, Angela says the jelly roll is beautiful colors. Yes, she loves it. The other one, the name is on the tip of my tongue and I can't think of the name of it. My mind is failing me lately. Oh, I know the feeling. How long have I been on? <laughs> Was it about 2.30? So about an hour and a half. Can you guys hear me eat popcorn? I'm kind of hungry. Let me know if it's too loud. Because <laughs> my microphones are right here. Nancy says her mind is always failing her. Ha ha ha. Yes, um, Kathy came home on Wednesday and she's so happy to be home. Kathy, do you have anybody coming to help you, or you have a helper there? It's fine. The popcorn eating is fine. You're so accommodating, Joe. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. I got my hand towel. I wipe my hands off. I don't want to get that butter all over my fabric. Oh, okay. I know which one you're talking about. Hold on. Um, let me grab it. Stacy. West or something like that. Is that right? Let me grab it, Angela. Yeah. I think I was right. This one? 
Yes. Uh, Riley Blake, Seeds of Glory by Stacy West. I was right. Is this the one you're talking about? I haven't cut into it yet. I still am going planning to use this for the quilt in the camper for the bedroom. The quilt that I'm making with the jelly roll is for the living room. <laughs> or might be for me just downstairs, you know, when I'm cross-stitching. Won't that be nice? And I have, you know, I, what I should do is measure my background fabric and make sure it's going to be the right size for my top. Or make sure my top, you know, that I don't make it any bigger than my backing because it's a like minky <laughs> and I don't want to cut the minky up and it's really cute you guys I should show it to you it's um pretty pretty much white with blue but it's Winnie the Pooh <laughs> I know I should save it for a little kid's quilt but it's so soft let me show it to you Isn't that cute? <laughs> That's what I'm going to use for the back <laughs> of this quilt that I'm making. It's so soft. I actually got this at a yard sale. So, see, it should be big enough. Oh, yeah, see. Should be big enough. It's because I'm just making, you know, a lap quilt, right? Something to keep my legs warm. Yeah, it's more than 60 inches wide. It's like probably 65 by it's pretty long. I probably will have extra. So 65 by to write this down. Sixty-five by oh shoot, I had that turned around wrong. Well, thanks, Brenda. Uh, so, it's like almost 50. So what I say, 65 by 100. Oh yeah, that should be plenty. That was it? Okay. Anyway, isn't that cute? Winnie the Pooh and Tigger too. Here's Tigger with the um gosh darn it. There. Tigger up on Winnie the Pooh's head. <laughs> Anyway, so that'll be nice and warm for the winter time. I know I love Winnie the Pooh too. That used to be my one of my favorite cartoons. I see the chat is on the video screen. I wonder if it'll be like that on the replay. 
I hope so. Are you leaving, Brenda? <laughs> I don't know who doesn't love Disney. I want to watch that new show that's out. Um, it's got The Rock in it. The guy named The Rock. Um, Jungle Queen. Is that, does that sound right? It's based off of that old time movie with Humphrey Bogart and oh boy. I can't remember her name. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think I'm going to go. What I've been on here for like an hour and a half. My back is starting to hurt. So, thanks for joining me, guys. I really appreciate it. I'll just take like a few minutes to say goodbye because... I know we're on a, you know, lag time, so everybody, um, Marla says, my 39 and 34 year old daughters can win any Disney trivia game you want to play. <laughs> no. <laughs> the Lion King. Yeah, I like that one too. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, yep. Um, we'll see you guys over at Tiffany's place. Tiffany's going to go eat, and all right, Tiffany, I'll see you guys later. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much for joining me. It was a lot of fun. I hope you had a good time, too, and um, just let everybody say goodbye to each other. I hate just going off, and nobody gets a chance to say goodbye. So I'll wait till you guys are done and then I'll shut it off. Okay, I might come on tomorrow or Tuesday and finish working on this quilt. Maybe I'll have a little bit of it done. <laughs> now that I have all the cutting done, right? All right, so I'm going to bring the camera up here so I can start figuring out how to shut it off. Oh. Guess what? I happen. I can see end video button. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. All right, you guys, take care. And um, go over to Tiffany's at five o'clock, and uh, I'll visit with y'all there. Okay. Thanks for joining me. Bye.